Hello everybody, my name is Sammy the Great and welcome to the Dream Theory. Now I found this on Game Jolt and it had good reviews and I thought I'd play it. I know nothing about this game, but I say it's a beautiful day for YouTube so let's get into this game. Aha. Right. The Dream Theory. What's up with the noose? Alright. Let's do this. Dream, part one. Alright. I got you. I'm ready. Okay. Okay, so I have to find one key. Alright. This is a different way of playing the game. <clears throat> hey, there's a key. Okay. Easy enough. Take the key to the big house. Where the frick is the big house at? Maybe the X? <clears throat> so I've never played a game like... I guess it's uh, top-down? I think that's what it's called. But I've never played a game like this on my channel. So this is actually really neat. This is a really new experience for me. There's the big house. Yay, we did it. <laughs> I don't know what I accomplished this, but okay. Oh, there's... Alright. Go back to the forest. Oh, I got a camera. Okay, cool. Um, Do I want to go back to the forest? Okay, so I got to go back out in the forest. For what, though? What is my purpose? Okay, instructions. Collect three items hidden in the forest. If someone appears in front of you, stop and don't move. Wait for a few seconds. It'll go away. I hope so. If you get too close to it, bad things will happen. Okay. Cue the dramatic music. Let's turn that sucker up. Alright, let's go. Ah, uh, uh, hey. Why do you have... Uh, hey! Oh my gosh. Good gosh, that was loud! Oh my gosh, my ear holes feel violated. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, well, we try that. Okay, sure. I just can't get too close. That ain't close. Ah. Thank you. Good gosh. I'm just on my merry way to find three items. You can pop out of nowhere with your four hands and your four legs. Gosh, that thing was loud though. Gosh, it was screaming in my ear. I wouldn't even do anything. I just stopped. Maybe I was too close. I don't know. I didn't feel like I was too close. I didn't violate his privacy. He shouldn't have violated my ears. Right. Oh, can I go in here? Can I get out? Oh, no. Blocking me on my way. Yeah. Okay. Um. Don't grab me. Um. Can I ask what that was? <laughs> Why were you singing? Um. Where are these items? There we go. There's one. That looked like a newspaper. Uh, on to the next item. <clears throat> oh, you're back. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh oh Hey! Hi! Hey! Hello! Why'd the music start like that? <clears throat> okay, found another one. Alright, let's go! Hey! Buddy! Okay. Buddy! Go! Okay. Can I, can I, can I move? Okay, thank you. Good gosh. <clears throat> you just kept coming at me. Alright, so I gotta find this last item. Where the frick is it? What is happening to this thing over here? Why is it shaking that bad? My gosh. Hey, hey, hey. I don't want no trouble here, okay? Okay, thank you. Goodbye. Yep. Good. Ah, come on, man! Gosh. Alright, we try. There's the newspaper. Get back to the house! Go to the house! Alright, so I have all three items. I gotta get back to the house now. Go to the house. Screw you, lady. I'm gone, baby. I'm gone. I'm out of here. Run, brother, run. There you go. Alright, so we got our three objects. What else now? What do we gotta do now? And we were recording the whole time. I don't know why. Alright, click the table to investigate. Alright. Let's, uh... Oh. Oh, hi. Is that you? Yeah. Um, 
sorry for bothering you. Um, I know uh -huh. we haven't talked for ages. You know, since the school has closed. Yeah. I'm yeah. Why have you called this late at night? I didn't mean to click on well, you, but. Um, I actually have a little surprise for you. Uh huh. Um, I've managed to reopen the school. I am the headmaster really? now. Um, it's it's interesting to be in your place. Um, hello. I hang up too. That's good for you, but do you really feel that it's a good idea? Why wouldn't it be a good idea? You know what happened in that school, don't you? All those years well, I, ago, I haven't read it yet. Yeah, I know, but this this left behind in uh -huh. the past, you know. Children have committed suicide, Henry. Oh my gosh. It's a very serious thing. Committed suicide? Didn't you say that you don't believe in this <clears throat> suicide thing? I mean, you always said that it must be murder, didn't you? That's what the media wants you to believe. Uh huh. Two kids committing suicide in half a year and in the same fashion? Yeah. No way is the coincidence. So, yes, I still believe in my murder theory. Well, well yeah, I. I think the same, but. But things will be different now. Uh -huh. I promise you. I will change everything. Okay. If you say so. Goodbye, Mr. Grimshaw. Goodbye. What an interesting phone call. Okay, now I'm actually going to read the newspaper. Okay. So, school reopened. A local school named St. Alliston School was reopened after several several years of inactivity. It was reopened by its old student, Henry Clayton. He is now the headmaster of the school after the old one. Dallas Grimshaw. The school had the school had dark years before before. Because of several suicide attempts, two children have committed suicide in the school before it had closed its gates. Clayton said, I hope that this time nothing will nothing will be the same as before. Will the school have its good name again? I don't know. I mean, he's trying to open it again. Let's Hello, see what this one Daniel. says. I'm sorry for bothering you, bro. Uh, I just want to tell you something really sick that I've done. Uh, uh oh. Remember the school that we used to learn in? Yeah. School. Yeah. I want to reopen it. I don't ask me why. I just did it. Uh huh. I've talked with Grimshaw and well, he doesn't really like it. But oh, you think you can do I better? Remember uh -huh. the last time he ever liked anything? It's it's interesting to be in his place now. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, remember the story that we created? Uh huh. You know when, when they <clears throat> they committed suicide. You know that we call we tried to calm everyone down and said that the shadowy figure with sharp teeth and four arms. Oh. And that that creature That's where he comes into play. Everyone. Pretty weird way to calm everyone, of course. Yeah, it's a pretty weird way. But they believed the story and they didn't even say the word suicide again. Interestingly, today's children still believe it and I heard them scaring each other with it. Some are even paranoid because of it. And even my son. I told him it's not real, but sometimes I see him waking up in the middle of the night and using a uh-huh. A flashlight. Oh. Okay, so that's how this guy, the four the four um armed guy comes in. <clears throat> Awaken part one. That's where he comes in. He was made believe so that the people that were attempting suicide, I guess, wouldn't do it? Alright, instructions. Look around your room. If you see someone point your flashlight on it and keep it there for a few seconds. If you see someone directly in front of you in your room, hide under the bed and stay there till it goes away. Uh, w is get on your bed. And then S is hide under your bed. Okay, hi, hello. <clears throat> hey! Dude, what the frick, where were you at? I didn't even see you. Okay, but yeah, this guy was made up. So that the people that were committing suicide, I guess, would stop? And they were believing it. And I guess that's where this dream theory comes into play. Oh, wait. Well, oh, hi. Hey, how are you? You good? Hi. Can you go away now, please? What was I supposed to do? Where you at, mother licker? Huh? I know you're going to be coming after me here, man. Hey, hi, hi. Hey, I'm going to sleep, okay? Yep, you just leave. All right, good. So this is somewhat like a Five Nights at Freddy's feeling. It gives me that. Which I have not played yet, and eventually I want to play, but, you know, I'm just waiting. I guess I'm waiting for 
Just a better time. Hey. Because I want to make sure I do it right, and I want to make sure I do them all, you know? And I want to make sure I have enough time to do them. But this gives me that... Hey. Hi. No, it hasn't. Uh-huh. Hi. How are you? You coming to check up on me? Well, I'm good, so you can leave. Yeah, yeah, I, bye. Okay. What is up with that? With that clock right there? Why is it kind of musty? Hey! Oh, 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 oh. That scared the heck out of me, and I was just pressing... Oh, hi. Hey. I was pressing random buttons. I finally got under my bed, though. Gosh. That scared the heck out of me. Okay. Where are you gonna be at, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Did I... I don't know what I just did. I don't know what I just did there. How long do I have to survive? How long do I have to survive? Oh, gosh. Hi. I told you. I was going to sleep, man. Okay, good. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, like, seriously, how long do I have to survive here? And I'm recording the whole thing, so... Am I dreaming, or am I really awake? That is the question, I guess. Alright, where are you going to come at next, huh? Oh, hey, buddy. How are you? You good? Alright, bye. <clears throat> but I don't know why that guy wanted to... Oh! Oh! oh. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna finish my thought here. I don't know... I don't know why that guy wanted to reopen that school so bad. Because it seemed like he was so eager to, to do that. He seemed like he was so eager to open that school again. But I don't know why. And again, how long do I have to survive here? Oh! Am I done? Did I do it? Okay, part two! But yeah, guys, that was part one of the Dream Theory. This is a really cool game. And whenever I was looking at a game job, I was like, do I want to play this? Ah, I don't know. But after playing the first part, it is it is actually a really good game. And I'm excited to see what else happens in part two and in the next parts. But there's a lot of unanswered questions here. Um, why does this guy want to reopen the school so bad after all the bad things that had happened? You think you just want to, re you know, like, start fresh somewhere or something, you know? But why does he want to, you know, reopen that school? I mean, maybe he had just has, like, a history deeper than what the game has given me so far. Or he has a reason why he really wants to reopen that. I don't know. And also, I mean, it says the dream theory, but am I dreaming during all this? Or is this just, or is this actually, actually reality? I don't know. I figure this is just all a dream, especially since it says the dream theory. But you never know with games. Anything can happen. That's that's a good thing about games. Anything can happen. And they can just blow your mind at any moment. But again, I'm really liking this game. And I'm going to... I don't know how many parts there are, but I'm going to play the rest of it. I'm going to play the rest of the parts in future episodes. So... But I recommend that you guys go play this for yourself because it is a really cool game. And if you guys want to, I'll leave a link down in the description. But I thank you guys for watching. And if you like, like. If you comment, comment. If you subscribe, subscribe. And I'll see you guys next episode. Goodbye.